Hey, it's Chase with Dad's That Cook. We're going crazy tonight. That's what we're doing. We're going crazy. We're making some fried chicken. And I've also got some sun chokes that I'm gonna make too. All right, so this is a gluten-free, dairy-free fried chicken. It's gonna be amazing. So instead of it being with your regular flour, I'm gonna use a little cup for cup. All right, so the first thing I need to get going with this fried chicken is I gotta get my oil burned up and ready to roll. I gotta get to 350 degrees. You want enough so it covers all of the chicken. I'm gonna throw a little bit of peanut oil in there just to add some flavor to it. Got my little thermometer here, deep fryer. Once that gets up to 350 degrees, we'll know what's up. All right, sound like a plan? Cool. So in the meantime, while that's heating, let's get our chicken started. Okay. So I'm gonna crank some pepper in here. Kosher salt, got some kosher salt. Granulated garlic powder. Onion powder, somewhere around there. I'm eyeballing tonight. All right, so let's blend that up. All right, a little extra pepper. Plus I, I like mine with a little bit of a kick to it. Thomas Keller, thank you very much again for making this flour. It is my wife's best friend. She cannot eat gluten, she can't eat regular flour, and this is the best flour that we found for gluten-free, and you can't even tell the difference. So if you are the big gluten guy, you're like, oh, I got gluten, man. I like lots of gluten. You won't even know if you use it. So I'm testing you. Try it, see if you like it, because it's pretty damn good. A couple eggs, we're gonna mix a little bit of almond milk instead of your buttermilk that you normally would use we're going to use almond milk all right so we're going to crack one of these bad boys up half a cup of that turn the bowl mix it got some chicken legs i got some chicken cubes okay and we got to put them in our little dredging thing all right so what we're going to do is we got to stick it in the flour first and then we're going to stick it in the egg and then we're going to stick it in the flour again and then we're going to set it aside and these little cubes that i did up earlier for something else, I think it's gonna be amazing for like little, little bite-sized little pieces. It's gonna be so good. So we're gonna go here with the chicken leg. We're gonna roll that around in there, nice and happy. We're gonna stick it in the egg. And then we're gonna stick it back in here. Get it like that. And then we're gonna just set it aside. Just keep doing it until you got it all done, okay? Let's get these chunks going, okay? Yeah, that looks tasty. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're doing with the, the sun chokes. It's real simple. I've got the oven going at 425. I'm just gonna throw those into a little bowl, real simple. Do a little olive oil, and maybe a little salt and some pepper. Mix these guys up a little bit, right? I'm gonna throw them in my skillet over there and I'm gonna stick it in the oven for about 35 minutes. Let's throw this stuff in there and see how it goes. We'll let that sit for a few minutes, let that cook, and then we'll do another batch, and we'll do another batch, and we're gonna let them sit on some paper towel so they relax. You don't wanna cut into them right away, because it'll ruin it. Yeah, starting to look good. I'm gonna take one of these guys out, and I'm gonna test it. I'm just gonna give it a little test, okay? He's only at 90, so we know that he's gonna have to go a little longer. Looking good. This is taking about 10 minutes to fry each one of these legs. I left the legs out for about an hour. I let them hang out and chill and get to room temperature because you don't want to put them in cold because it won't, won't cook well. Oh yeah, look at that. So now we're gonna get the little cubes in. Those are gonna take just a couple minutes. There's like nothing. Let's pull these guys out. They're all done, ready to roll. I know my kid likes little chicken tenders. These are gonna be the bomb. Take a look at these sun chokes. Ooh, those are gonna be good. All right, so I got some barbecue sauce, got a little stubs. We're gonna try this stuff out. Looks like my boy just showed up. Corbin just came home, he's been working out. It's getting beasty. It's going beasty. Yeah, in my belly. Right? <laughs> Oh, my little boy, oh, getting ready for college next year. Uh, I'm not gonna have this little guy around the house gosh. shoving food down his throat next year. These you are poppers? Yeah, exactly. Right. Let's try one out. Moist? Hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's like oh. really good chicken nuggets. Isn't that like your favorite? It's really good. I gotta try this tongue choke out real quick. It's creamy in the center. It's literally just like an artichoke heart. Oh wow. Aren't those good? It's just very simple little seasoning. Got a little salt, some pepper, olive oil, and that's it. We're gonna get those recipes up. We made some awesome fried chicken. I'm gonna try these legs out, the heart, the little sun chokes. So good, so easy, so yummy. And we'll see you next time on Dads That Cook. Hey, thanks for watching. You wanna see more cool videos like this one on Dads That Cook? Make sure you subscribe. You wanna win some really cool stuff? Subscribe. You wanna get notified? Make sure you know what's going on? Subscribe.